Catherine Kealoha was supposed to be in court today, but refused to leave the federal detention center. It's not clear why, but one of her attorneys tells us that she was hospitalized last week. Manola Morales joins us now with further details. Manola. Yeah, Howard, attorney Earl Partington tells me Kealoha spent four days in the hospital last week, but she has recovered since. Catherine Kilo was noticeably absent for a status conference hearing in federal court, much to the surprise of her court-appointed attorney. Gary Singh told the judge during the hearing he told her about it. He adds that, quote, I thought she was going to be here. I'm surprised she's not. Court records show that the U.S. Marshal sent a message to the judge saying the defendant refused to be transported from the federal detention center. Her other attorney, Earl Partington, tells me he does not know why, he adds that KLO spent four days in the hospital last week. She was in the hospital because her face all swelled up. She lost the vision in one eye and it was extremely painful for her. You know, there's been this allegation that she's made up these medical problems. Uh, she hasn't. Partington says he talked to her Sunday or Monday when she was back at the detention center and she was fine. He says doctors aren't sure if it's related to her cancer. All the swelling had gone down and it had gone away, but she's had this attack before. And when she's had these attacks before, they've been the reason why things have been, uh, she's made various requests, you know, to delay proceedings. The hearing was to determine if Singh had a conflict of interest. He had represented someone who testified to the grand jury during the Kealoha investigation. The judge ruled that there was no conflict. Both Partington and Singh plan to visit Kealoha this weekend to find out what happened. Another hearing is scheduled in federal court on Wednesday. Fash. Adam Manolo, thank you.